And today I'm going to show you how to upload charts into the information store as part of i2 Analyze and Analyst Notebook Premium. So you can see here that I have a chart open. And if you look at the top bar here, uh, there's a message indicating that this particular chart, Association and Timeline, is not uploaded. So if you move to the Publish tab, there's a section Share Chart, and there's an Upload Chart button to push. At this point, I'm going to need to log in to the Information Store. Okay, and so it brings up a Chart Inspector, and it does require that you input a name for your chart that will be stored in the Information Store. If you want to, you can add any kind of uh, notes that you want to. You'll notice there's an identifier there, and uh, that's the identifier that will be stored for this chart record. This identifier can be copied and pasted into Quick Search to, to find the chart. Um, there's security settings, just like any other uh, I2 Analyze item. So I'm going to make a few changes here. I just want open source intelligence and I want my security level to be unclassified. And so this is going to determine, just like you know any other item, who can see and open the chart. If you want to uh, add source references, you could do that here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and upload the chart. Okay, the chart was uploaded successfully. So as the chart gets uploaded, um, all the chart items in the metadata are being indexed. Uh, for quick search. This doesn't mean that each individual uh, record or each individual entity here uh, is being uh, indexed and a record is being created for the information store. It's doing basically a text rip um, of the whole chart uh, so you can use quick search to, to find um, this, this chart. Okay, so we're going to look at the view, de view details after it's been uploaded. And again, you'll see the chart inspector and um, things we put in before. And you'll also see over here on the right-hand side uh, some activity when it was first uploaded and when it was last uploaded. I'll close that out. So now I'm going to want to make a, a modification to this chart. So I'm going to delete a section. And again, if you go back to the top bar, you'll see you're getting some interactive feedback that edits are not uploaded to give you an indication that you might want to upload this. So let's go ahead and upload it again. All right, that was successful. And from here, if we, we can uh, check the version history. And you'll see that it shows you the versions you have and a, um, a thumbnail. All right. And um, let's delete this code here. And let's upload it one more time. So we, we're going to go in the chart inspector again, and um, we can get the version history from the chart inspector. And here are our three versions. And you can pick a previous version, and you can either make it the latest version, you can open it as a copy, or you can delete it. So I'm going to go and pick this previous version before I deleted the boat. And I'm going to say, make it the latest. Okay, success. Make latest succeeded. Okay, I'm going to close out this chart. Then I'm going to go back to the Home tab. And I'm going to go to the Quick Search. And I'm going to search for Steel, which was one of the uh, person's name in that chart. I'm going to search on that. And it's going to bring back all the records, not just your charts, but any record that might have had steel in it. So you can see there was one record here, here that had nothing to do with our chart. And then here's the chart. And um, you can see a thumbnail of the chart. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And you see it um, brings it up in an editor. I'm sorry, in a browser. And you can see it doesn't have the section that I deleted here at the top, but it does have the boat. So, yep, that's the one we had. So I'm going to close that out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, open this from the uh, quick search. And at this point, um, you can save it as a different file, or you can go find the 
the uh, original file and copy over top of it. If you save it as a different as a different file, then those two files will basically share the same ID that you saw previously. So they're going to share the same association. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and save this to the desktop as Dan test one. Okay. So there it is. I'm working on the latest version of the chart. It's it's Dan Test One. Um, at this point, I want to add a. a just, I'm going to add a an entity. Let's see. Let's go to insert one palette. Let me just. I'm going to take an organization and just put it right here under there. Open that up. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so again, edit's not uploaded. So let's, I'm going to upload my changes. All right. You notice I've got a, a message here. It says security conflict. The, the chart has different security settings from some of its records. Upload anyway. And the reason for that would be is that there's a conflict between some of the items. I just added an item right there. I added uh, an organization. Um, and that organization, um, again, uh, the security on it, if you notice, is controlled. And it has also open source intelligence. Whereas my chart itself, as you recall, I just made the security level unclassified. OK? so. The point there is that there going to be there may be times when the chart has different security settings from some of its records, and this could lead to some data exposure. Um, so we're going to go ahead and upload it anyway, or you could amend the chart or record security as appropriate, whichever whatever you want to do on that. I just wanted to point that out. Okay, so let's go ahead and upload this chart. Yep, upload anyway. Right, it was uploaded. I'm going to go ahead and close the chart. And I'm going to log out of the information store. Okay, so now we're going to look at the local files for a chart that is stored in the information store. So we're going to do a file open. And we can pick, this is the one that we just saved it to. Or we can go find the one that was the original one. And again, they're sharing the same identif identifier. So I'll go pick this one and open it. You're going to get a message that's going to advise you. Log in, advise. A newer version of this chart might be available in, in the information store. OK? So we can either log in here, or we can dismiss this right here, and we can say, Check for updates. And of course, it'll ask us to log in as well. And it says a new version is available. Uploaded, blah, 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 by Jenny. So we can, we can get the latest from here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, success. Now working on the latest version of the chart. And you'll see now that this organization is there. So this was just to show you how, you know, two, two local files can share the same identifier for a chart that's in the information store. And based on which one you open, you may or may not be working with the, the latest copy. So the tooling is in place to uh, automatically help you um, get the right or get the latest um, version or to check for the update to see if you need one. Okay. Okay, moving on here. Um, let's, let's, we're going to look at version history again. And at this point, we can 
yeah, I mentioned it earlier, you know, you can, you can pick one of these and let's just say I don't, I want to delete one of these. So I'm going to pick this previous version here and I'm going to hit the delete button. And this will delete just this one chart that I picked. Okay. So it, it's, it should be gone. But if you wanted to delete all the charts, you go to the chart inspector and say delete from store. This command deletes all versions of this chart. Are you sure this, you want to continue? So, yep, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and delete everything. So there's nothing in the information store anymore uh, for this chart. And you'll notice up here at the top, it goes back to Associates in Timeline. It's orphaned. Okay. Um, so uh, at this point, it, you could you could do a save as if you wanted to, um, you know, upload it again. So I could say File. Save as, save as copy. And I'm going to pick, um, I'm going to go to actually the folder where the original one is. Where are we going here? Let's see. Users, administrator, data, local, IT, right here, sample charts. And we'll give it a different name. And I'm going to save this. And then I can upload it again. Notice the upload button is ready to go. And again, it's going to it's going to tell you there may be some security conflicts with the records. We know that because this organization has a higher security than the other one. So I'm going to upload that anyway. Okay, there we go. And that's about it. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much.